Good morning. My name is Peggy. I teach Tai Chi Easy at Walter Reed for with the Senior Adult Program. Let's get started. Now in this class you can be seated the whole time or you can stand and um, for the first part and then there's some parts where we everyone's sitting. So for the first part I'm going to stand but know that you can be seated. So if you're standing with your feet hip width apart and relax and then let's begin inhaling arms up, exhale lower, knees soft. What does that mean? That just means your the knees aren't locked and you can be sitting. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. As you bring your arms up, feel the energy rising, hands coming down, feel gravity pulling your hands down. And remember to breathe. You can inhale as your hands rise, exhale as your hands fall. Nice. Then your feet can be a little wider apart and we're going to have our arms up. Inhale, exhale, bend to the side as much as you can. Inhale, reach, we're warming up, so we're not going to our maximum, we're just moving our bodies, waking them up. And reach, and inhale, on the center, exhale to the side, relax the head, neck and shoulders. Reaching up and bending. Reach and bend. Reach and bend. And let your arms come down your sides. Nice. And our next move is oh, we inhale up. Then bring our hands together, make fist. Press into your hands. You can bend slightly, bend the knees, tighten as many muscles as you can. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Release and inhale, opening, exhale, tighten, squeeze, arms, legs, torso, and release, inhale, reach, exhale, tighten, one more time, inhale, reach, Exhale, tighten. And now for this next one, I'm going to sit just so I, you can see that you can sit for any of these or you can still be standing. And intertwine the fingers, press out. Reach up as you inhale. Open. That feels good. Exhale. Inhale, open. Reach out through the hands, opens the front of the shoulders, and again, this is one of my favorites, it just feels so good, and again, inhale, and if you can only reach your hands to here, that's fine, good, and I'm going to stand again, you can still sit. And now we're going to, after we've just warmed up, we're going to do some Tai Chi moves. And hands to the one side. I, my hands are to the left. My right hand is on the bottom. It's slightly turned and then I exhale as I move across. Inhale. I'm holding what we call the Tai Chi ball or the energy ball. Exhale. 
move across and you move your torso as you move very relaxing nice and slow So my arm on the left, my right hand's on the bottom, right hand comes across, and then left hand's on the bottom. And turn. Inhaling as we come to the side, exhale as we move across. And if it feels more comfortable for you to Exhale and when, as you come to the side and inhale in the center, that's okay too. And then we come to the side, we drop both hands and turn. My right hand pushes toward the left, push, and then inhale, drop, and press. So I'm moving my feet and turn and then I'll show that move seated as well <clears throat> so I've dropped my hands turn push and, and then press pushing <clears throat> your hand like you're pushing open a door inhale drop and push and turn and push Stand up again, do that one more time standing. And then coming back to center. And <clears throat> we're gonna have our hands crossed and our chin. And then press, one hand comes forward, the other back, turning our shoulders. And turn. This is called repelling the monkey. So pressing with this part of your hand forward, pulling back, pushing away, repelling what we don't want in our space. Fatigue, illness, clutter, whatever it is, just keeping that nice space, personal boundaries. Oh. Feels so good in the shoulders. And then arms down, relax. <clears throat> and now we're gonna have our hands in front. And we're gonna focus on our top hand. That, and this is called watching clouds passing by and my right hand is on top, I turn to the right. Then I switch my left hand up, turn to the left. Relax the legs, they can bend, your knees can bend. Just focusing on that hand. If you ever laid on the grass as a kid and watched clouds going by it above you in the sky. That's what we're doing here. And relax the arms down. Good, and then we're gonna have <clears throat> another move called gathering the energy from the earth and the sun and reach down. You don't have to reach down very far. Bring the earth up to the belly, reach up for the sun, bring it down into the body, connect with the earth. And I'll sit and show you how to do this. So you did, so we can just Reach down, bring it in, reach up, bring it down, 
bring it up. Reach up. Bring it down. Good. And then standing back up. Let's turn to the side. And we're gonna push out and pull back. The front knee bends, back knee straightens. One foot in front of the other. And let's turn to the other side and push and pull. Inhale and exhale. And then coming back to center. And hands close together, but not touching. We're gonna inhale, pull. Your hands apart, exhale, push. So if I'm not focusing on pulling and pushing, my hands just like, like, like this. But this, you put energy into our hands, like you're pulling taffy or playing the accordion, neither of which I've ever done. But it's a good visual. And then reach up. One hand comes up, the other down, reaching through the hands. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale. Reaching, exhaling. And reach. And reach. And then we're gonna turn. One hand comes over. So your right, left hand goes to your right side. And imagine you have a stick in your hand and you're hitting a gong on either side of you. And then come back to center. And we're gonna twist. So our knees are soft. We let our, remove our torso, let our arms swing. The back hand touching, tapping our kidneys, which is in the back, on our back where our adrenals are too. And then tapping the heart or the top of the lungs here, where your shoulders are, feels good too. And then coming back and letting yourself come back to center. And then <clears throat> we'll do something we call spontaneous chi, which is just shaking anything that we haven't woken up, getting that energy into ourselves, moving your head around like a bobblehead, and relax. And then let's all be seated now, any comfortable chair. <clears throat> and we're gonna exhale, lower the chin, Keeping the torso straight, inhale, reach up. Hands behind your head, looking up, supporting the head. And exhale, lower. Inhale, reach up, support the head. Exhale, lower. Then bring the head back to center and turn your head gently side to side. Bring it back to center. And then we're gonna take, <clears throat> do a little self-massage. 
Let's take our one hand to the opposite side of the neck. Find the spot, just squeeze. And then squeeze down the arm and back up. Let's do the other side. Squeeze. Down the arm. Back up. And let's take both hands in the back of the neck. Let's tight squeeze. Wherever it feels good. Back, base of the neck, sides of the neck, tops of the shoulders. <clears throat> and then take your thumb and finger. Let's do our ears. So the outer ear squeeze the edge of the ear. And as you work down toward the earlobe, let's try that again. Squeeze and pull at the same time. And then take your index finger, trace the inner ear, not the inner ear, but the inner part of the outer ear. And then we're going to use our fingertips tapping on our head, face, neck. And then just pause for breath, see how that feels. And then let's do a little hand work. So we can turn our wrists the other way, tighten and open, squeeze and open, and shake them out. And then with one hand, pull back on the palm of the hand gently, just however e far it easily goes than the other. And then <clears throat> let's do a little hand massage. We have our hand in our lap. Use the knuckles on the other hand and massage and turn the hand over, massage the back of the wrist, lots of bones in there. So there's a little massage, then press with your fingers the back of the hand. And then let's squeeze that webbing in between the fingers. And then let's pull on each digit. So just have your finger on the side, pull and release. Shake it out. And then <clears throat> let's do the other hand. So we have it in our lap. Massage. Any place that feels good. Get the circulation going. Turn your hand over. Massage the back of the wrist. Use your fingers. And then press back of the hand toward the fingers. Squeeze in between the finger and thumb and between each finger. It might be a little tender. And then each finger squeeze and pull. And let's shake it out. And then you can come to the edge of your chair and we're going to do this is called a sigh of relief. So we inhale, arms up and exhale. And inhale up. And you don't have to bend back down far. You could have your arms like this and then just go. Ugh. Whatever is easy for your body. <sighs> One more time. Ugh. And then our next one, which is a favorite in the class, we inhale up and <laughs> up. 
again. Inhale again. And, <laughs> and one more time. <laughs> Great. And then we're gonna stand and come to the back of our chair. And you can skip this part if you don't want to do it. If you want to just stay in your chair and wait till the next thing. And reach back. Keep your head level with the rest of your torso. This feels so good. Bend the knees. Walk it into your chair. Hold on to the chair. Have your side to the chair. Inhale. Outside arm comes up. You can bend the knees. Bend over. You could have your arm supporting you like this. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. And reach. Turn to the other side. Same thing. Arm up. Hand firmly on the chair. Bend the knees slightly. Bend over. Exhaling. Reach up. And exhale. And reach. Good. And then let's come to the side of our chair. Do a little balance. And let's bring we have our hand on the chair. Bring our outside leg up and back, up and back, and place that foot down. Let's do the inside leg up and back. You can have one finger on your chair, the, your whole hand. Try without holding, but your hand hovering. Good. And then let's do that balance. Stand, keeping the legs still. Can be here, here, here. Again, have the hand on the chair, over the chair. One finger, all your fingers lower. And the other leg up be like this, or this, or this. You know that balance uh, kind of goes away unless we work on it starting, I think, after age like 40. And, and let's shake the legs out a little. And then everybody hold on to the chair. Come up onto your toes and down on your heels. Lift your toes back up on the toes and balls of the feet. Down on your heels. Lift the toes one more time. Up, down, back, and then back to center. Let's just stand for a moment. See how we're feeling. Relax the muscles in the legs and then have a seat. And if you were seated during that, you can also lift a leg or lift a leg like this. We're still challenging our body, using muscles in our legs and hips, and working on changing balance from one side to the other. And then we're going to cup our hands, reach down to wherever you can reach, and tap back, front, sides. Behind you, arms, armpits, where you can reach on your back, 
Maybe you have to use your fist, tapping the head, neck. And let's do that one more time. Tapping knees. And everywhere that you can reach. And then we're gonna <coughs> smooth that energy out without touching. We're not touching our face. Hands in front, behind, reach behind, around the feet, up, and behind, and around. And come back to center. And we're going to inhale. And exhale, a nice calming breath. We'll do this a few times. And then bring your hands down to your lap. Close your eyes. We'll pause and relax for a couple of minutes, allowing your body to absorb the work that we've done in class. Just relax and let your body breathe. No place to go, nothing to do, just be here in the moment. And then bring your hands together, create some heat. And then place the hands anywhere your body needs some heat attention. For me, it's always my knees. Send a little heat there. Or maybe the back of my calf. And then coming back to center, sitting up tall. And thank you.